Female economic activity is extremely important for any nation trying to maximize and optimize the use of its resources. And as we all know, the most important resource available to any nation is this human resource. We therefore must promote a balanced approach in the use of our human resources. This is what most people often refer to as gender equality. Equality between men and women is to ensure that both men and women are free to develop their personal abilities and make free choices. Free choices ensure the prejudices and stereotypes that would undermine the contribution of women are discarded. Because of improving primary and secondary school enrollment in the country, Nigerian women have greatly increased their participation in politics and business. As we have seen with Falashade Aliu and Etomi Wakalo, women are steadily, if not speedily, unleashing their energy, and the national economy is being buoyed by it. The real question across Africa is not whether a country is in recession or coming out of it. It is instead about how to create jobs and keep jobs. If Africa is rising, then the role and contribution of women must also rise. Africa has not done very well with job creation because it has not diversified its production strategies and it has not aggressively sought to promote the participation of women in the production of goods and services. Economic diversification implies that you want to produce, sell and buy many and different kinds of goods and services. Then start with support and increasing opportunities for women not just in school enrollment, but also with well-paying career choices and entrepreneurship. Folks, the time has come for the real leaders to stand up. Our leaders must now show us that vision we believe that they have in speeding the economic inclusion of women and overall progress. I'm Magnus Paco, and that's my view. I'm